Hey, hope you're all well. Just had a question uh, from one of the people that watch my Microsoft oriented videos uh, about my workflow. So I think the basic point is, is that um, you want to take care of your uh, metadata on your files in a way that's not going to just drive you crazy because, you know, it is a lot of work um, actually and in a way there's not a lot of reward. So you want to make sure that you're streamlining everything as much as possible and uh, doing things in a way that makes submission to uh, multiple sites very easy. Uh, and I'm not talking about using third-party um, tools or platforms, I'm just talking about keywording myself, um, using the applications and the software that I have, and then taking those images and uh, uploading them to multiple sites. So if that's not interesting to you or you have your own workflow, then um, this isn't the video for you. Uh, the other thing is, um, I understand that there's probably better ways to do it. Um, there's probably worse ways to do it, but this is the way I've trained myself to, to do things and it works pretty well for me. So um, um, regardless of the fact that I seem to be set in my ways, uh, yeah, any sort of um, you know um, constructive uh, feedback would be great uh, for me and for anyone that's watching these, uh, just to make sure that we're working a little bit more uh, simply and quickly and efficiently. Uh, the last thing before I jump onto the computer uh, is that I use Lightroom. Um, so if you don't use Lightroom, then it might not be as relevant to you, uh, but it, maybe you're thinking about Lightroom. Um, and so this might, you know, be some sort of uh, data that you might use to make that decision. Um, I assume that other software does the same thing. I just don't know because I don't use anything else. Um, for converting raw into JPEG. So uh, yeah, I use Lightroom um, to, to do this. So anyway, uh, I don't want to make this too long. I want to make this uh, relatively uh, short and I have a tendency to uh, get carried away in talking uh, despite being intro an introvert. So I'm going to jump into the computer right now. Um, so yeah, if this is a video you're interested in, uh, just stick around till the end. All right, so let's just jump right into it. Um, this past weekend, I went for a drive, uh, starting at sunrise, took a bunch of photos. You know, these aren't necessarily very commercial or, you know, very f uh, fantastic or anything like that. Uh, it was just a Sunday morning out, but I think this will serve the purposes for this uh, particular uh, tutorial. So basically what I do is I, you know, I obviously process the images that I want and then I flag them using Lightroom. Basically you just click on the image and then just hit the little flag right here and that will flag the image. So once I've gone through the whole set and I've flagged what I've um, what I what I like, um, these flags are only for Archangel. Um, as you know anyone that watches my channel will know I submit to Archangel the book cover site. And so my first pass is purely on Archangel potential photos and I flag them all and I bring them up like this and um, so there's there's a uh, 15 images here that I'm going to send to Archangel now in Archangel you do not have to uh, keyword the images you, you, there is a spot to include a caption if you want and then you have some Dropbox um, options to sort of describe the image but it's very minimal I do not keyword or provide any metadata to my images that go to Archangel. So what I do is I, I then I export all of this out into an Archangel folder. And I have a uh, preset um, already made uh, that I use for any sort of uh, images that I'm using for uh, Microstock. So um, the last folder that I, I exported to was the Archangel folder. So that's already there, but that's what I would do. So that's that is a very simple, uh, very straightforward um, Archangel workflow, but that's probably not what you're here for. So basically what I do then is um, if they are accepted, I keep them flagged so I can tell which images uh, I already uploaded to Archangel because I can't upload those to any other sites. So following um, getting my um, submission results back from Archangel, I go in, I either unflag or flag, as I mentioned, and then I do my keywording for Microstock sites. So what I will do is I will go through these images, this the entire set of images, 
So for now, we're going to pretend that none of these um, were accepted by Archangel. So they're free to go into Microsoft now. So I'm going to just unflag that. Then I'm going to set the rating to 1. So that now has a 1 rating. And I'm going to go through. And I'm basically going to do that for every one that I want to upload to Microstock. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this um, for all of them, but then then I'll just show you what I do. So for this now I have three three images that are rated number one. I keep this on equal to. I hit one. This will bring up the images that I flagged uh, as single star so that I can keyword them. I've up, I've already marked a couple um, here that I didn't upload to Archangel. So then what I do is I switch to library with the images that I want. I just like to view them on, on full screen. And this is where you actually keyword your images. Um, in library, then you have the uh, title of box, then you have the caption, you can put in your name, uh, whether it's copyright. And so that this is where I keyword. So with keywording, once it, the image is keyworded, then you just have to select the three images and then you sync them. I mean, you have to make sure you're, you're syncing in library because it syncs the metadata across the images. So you only have to keyword this one image in the set. And then I would go to this one here and I'd uh, provide the metadata for this one. And then I would um, select both and then I'd sync again. And that way I'm only editing or keywording or providing metadata for a single uh, image in a series. So for the images, uh, getting the metadata, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, with something like this that's pretty simple and commercial, I would just provide a quick caption. Uh, something like abandoned barn at sunrise, you know, in, on the prairies, for example. And uh, with a commercial image like this, I would probably, just because of the different uh, Microsoft sites, they kind of handle the metadata differently. So I would probably take this one, I would copy it and make that my title as well. So the title and the caption are exactly the same. Then for the uh, keyword tags, um, because I've been keywording a lot of things uh, fairly similar, similar uh, that are of similar subjects, I could I could use my keyword suggestions box, but I don't really like that. You can you can use sets, but uh, I, I don't actually do that. Um, but it, that might work. Uh, but basically, what I would do is I would go to either Big Stock or Shutterstock to uh, get the keywords. You can go to uh, your uh, content uh, submission tool page, hit the keyword tool, um, abandoned barn sunrise. Then I would look at these, I mean, pick that, you know, I don't know that. Um, I don't really like those mountains in there, so, so you yeah, pick that. And then I'd go through, you pick pick the, uh, the keywords that make sense. Just bear with me here. Uh, let, let's just, do, we'll stop there for now. Then you just copy them, go back to Lightroom here, paste them in, and then if there's anything else that you want, like this is taken in Alberta, so I might take that. Um, and then you have your keyword tags. Uh, the sorry, the uh, tags are there, titles there, captions there. So then I just um, sync these. I usually put copyrighted. Uh, I don't know if the websites necessarily include that metadata when the image is sold. Um, but uh, yeah, that's basically how I do it. And then you sync 
these now are all described and uh, keyworded. And when you export um, these three out, you just make sure that you know you're sending it to to the place that you want. But you want to make sure that um, the metadata is switched um, to all metadata. I already leave this okay off checked off. Um, then you have you have to but you have to remember to export that so that uh, the metadata that you've included on the image over here is now uh, attached or embedded into the JPEG file. So then when you export, uh, that's all you need to do with those images. Then on each of the sites where you upload, the um, the data should be pre-populated already, and then you only need to go into the um, to the individual sites. For example, I have a bunch of new uploads here that I haven't bothered to, um, you know, submit yet. So you would have to. So this one has been um, uploaded using the method that I do. Uh, so all that stuff is sort of the the description and the keywords are already in there. So I still need to basically do a couple of things like click sell editorial because this has some uh, branding on it and then you know hit the tag and then you hit submit so that's all that's left to do and each of the sites is slightly different so you have to go through and sort of pick the categories and uh, designate as editorial um, or what have you uh, Adobe stock you have to kind of just look at your keywording because they rank keywords um, and so you can't just put them all in and have them sort of go alphabetical you actually have to go in and just make sure your top five keywords are sorted out uh, so that's basically what I do. Now I'm going to show you one more thing that I do um, because my my goal here is always to do the first image and then to copy and paste across or sync across images. So I, I don't want to have sort of this image in, I don't want them sort of mixed up um, so that they're not all, so that a subject is not uh, in order with the other images of a similar subject. So what I do is, I'll just show you an example of um, images that are sort of not in order. Okay, so I came up to this uh, hill here in Big Valley and to photograph this church really quickly. Uh, I wasn't actually feeling it. Uh, I took a couple of snapshots uh, and then I turned around and basically the view from here is, is this uh, village scene. So I basically turned my back to the church you know, took a few shots of the town, um, and then I uh, turned back, looked looked back at the church, tried to try to, you know, figure out how I was going to make an image of the church that I liked. So I snapped a few of those. Then you know, still I kind of wasn't feeling it. Um, so I went back, shifted positions on on this hill here, took a couple more shots of the elevator. Um, before leaving, um, but if I wanted to have um, these church images line up with these church images and these these line up, these these town images line up with these town these town images, so that when I sync my keywords, I don't have you know these stuck in between these and these. Um, basically, what I do then is I just I just use a uh, a one and two system. So, uh, I if I wanted this one, I would set rating to uh, one. So that's now flagged at one. I like this image, but I don't want it to. I would set this as a two. Um, and I'll set this as a two. Then I'll go here. I, I want this one, so I'm going to set this set rating as a one. Um, set rating as a one, and then I'll set uh, as a two. Okay, so then then when I keyword these, I'll filter. I'll filter by equal to, then I'll hit uh, one, and that'll just give me those church images. And if I wanted the, um, and so I can keyword this one, and then I can copy and paste the settings over and then export those out. And if I want the, these two all in a row, then I just do this one and cut, cut and paste by using the two 
star uh, filter. And you have five stars here. You also have the flag. So you have six, basically six different filters that you can use um, as you're going through your images and you're just sorting them to make it as easy as possible just to engage in sort of a syncing metadata exercise. And you know, you sync and then you export out and then you, um, you can take your filter off and it will um, take you back to the main screen. It can kind of break down a lot if, if you have tons of images, like you come back from holidays and you get, you've got 2,000 images. Obviously, um, six sort of filters don't necessarily work for that, but you just do it in blocks, basically. Um, make sure that you uh, put your metadata in here, export it out. That's And so that's basically what I'll do. I'm just going to tell you one more thing that I do for... Uh, for keywording, so I showed you this um, this method. Of course, it's just the keywords, and sometimes you know um, it's easy to um, just copy descriptions and keywords from existing images on these sites. I find Big Stock's the best one to do it with. Like uh, every like everything is in here, so. Um, you know, if you were visiting Hawaii and you wanted to do uh, Waikiki Beach Sunset, that's the image that you want to keyword and describe. Uh, you could just go here, uh, find something similar, and just cut and paste the, the description and the keywords. And maybe you have to sort of adjust them a little bit because they're not exactly what you want, but you just copy and paste uh, those into Lightroom if this was a Waikiki image uh, and that's that's um, you know it's a, it's the laziest way to do things and you know I, I assume that people are doing it to my images so which is cool with me and I don't have a problem um, you know cut and pasting from from the images on big stock I mean basically everything's photographed and uploaded on these sites anyway so uh, it'll make your uh, data entry a lot uh, quicker and simpler so those are basically um, the steps that I take to uh, get images described and exported and uploaded to the various stock sites. Hopefully this was helpful and hopefully I didn't ramble on too long and we'll see you on the next one. All right, take care and uh, cheers. Bye-bye.